You know, wanting to get married in the next couple of years, having kids, I was like, this is the guy for me. Like, I am ready to have your children, sir. Okay, he's being sweet. Like, yes, 28 year old guys being honest with your feelings, like, not playing any games. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm here with a new Fellow Friday video. So for those of you new to my channel, Fellow Friday is the series on my channel where I talk about a different type of fella or boy that I've experienced in my dating life each Friday. So today's boy is the changed his mind guy. Um, so I got a comment from some people that like I only talk about really old dating stories or dating stories from like the past few years and I thought maybe it would be fun to talk about the last date that I have been on. Um, so this date was in June, so it's August now, so I haven't been on a date in two months. No, but uh, I've been busy this summer guys, don't worry about me. <laughs> but this is the last date that I was on and um, it kind of left me confused as hell. So thought maybe I could share it with you guys. Maybe you guys can give me advice or this might help someone, I don't know. But let's get into it. So I met this boy on Tinder, haha, <laughs> I know. And um, he was a little bit older, so I'm 21 and he was, I believe, 28. Um, so he's a little bit older, but you know, I didn't have a problem with that. Um, and he had just moved to Amsterdam from the UK. So he uh, got a job here, or like his job sent him here, um, so he had just moved here. And he'd been living here for I think like five weeks when we met, so he really like recently moved. Um, let's call him Joey. Let's call him Joey. So Joey and I matched and we talked and we like hit it off. So um, he was like asking me tips about Amsterdam and stuff like that. And he asked me to go on a date to grab a drink. So I was like, yeah, sure. He seemed like a cool guy. Let's do that. So we went to Vazerkont in Amsterdam, which is this really nice like little bar thing like on the water. Um, and I was running late, so I was already like kind of stressed, like, oh my god, I need to like r rush and get there. Um, and when I got there, he had ordered us nachos, which was like the way to my heart. Like literally, he was like, hey, I ordered us nachos and I got a beer, do you want one? And he like grabbed the beer ro real quick. So like there was food and drink waiting for me when I got there. I was like, this man, like he is after my heart. Joey, you are really doing well. So me and Joey are like, um talking we're hitting it off and at a certain point i like asking him I'm like oh don't you care that i'm 21 and he was like whoa until you said that like i hadn't even noticed you were 21 um like i don't really mind you and i was like no no, no i don't mind at all um so that was good i guess we talked about that and it was nice and i definitely like noticed throughout the date like we could talk about a lot more like deep like he was already working he'd been working for like six years obviously because from when he, the time he'd graduated university. So, and he was very international and we could just talk about like a lot deeper things than I think sometimes I can talk about with guys who are 21. I have kind of like a lot of life experience because I've moved around a lot and people always say that like, oh, you don't act like a 21 year old. Um, so it was kind of nice we could go deeper. We talked about feminism. We talked about starting a family, like how we see our lives in the future. And it was really, really good talk. Like he talked about, you know, wanting to get married in the next couple of years, having kids. I was like, this is the guy for me. Like I am ready to have your children, sir. Um, I'm kidding, sort of, <laughs> but we, um, we really hit it off. So I was like, okay, this is great. Only thing was the date was two days before I was going on vacation. I was going to New York, go watch my New York vlog if you have it. So it was right before then. And me and this boy, I think sat at this like bar outside for like four or five hours. Like, the date was super long. And at a certain point, um, I was like, I kind of got to go. And he was like, yeah, yeah, me too. Um, he picked up the bill, which I was like, no, 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 like, let me pay. And he was like, no, like, I insist. Like, you showed me this cool spot. Like, you know, so that was really nice. And he walked with me to my bike because um, we were like parked on opposite sides of the bar. But he walked with me to my bike and he kissed me. And I was like, wow, this is like fireworks. Like, I was so, so like, after one day kind of like into this guy, I was like, wow, you know, he's like a man. You know, he is just 
yes like I could see this going somewhere and after we kissed he was like I had a really good time like I really wanted to let you know and like maybe like when you get back from your vacation we can like hang out again and I was like yes we can hang out again of course so basically um when I get home he texts me like hey did you get home safe and I was like yeah yeah of course um and he was just saying again like how he had such a good time so I was like okay he's being sweet like yes 28 year old guys being honest with your feelings like not playing any games he was just being sweet and nice and saying that he was having a good time so I was like okay it's all good but he had already told me on the date that he wasn't a texter which is fine like you don't have to you know text me 24 7 so I left to New York and we didn't text at all um until like i don't know at a certain point i was kind of like shit should i text him like to let him know that i'm you know thinking about him and like you know like him um, so i was like at a like i was at the rockefeller center bar um and i took like a picture of like a beer and i was like haha it was like his favorite beer brand and i was like oh haha um like even drinking this in amsterdam or in new york sorry um, and he replied like, haha, that looks really good or something. And I said something like, yeah, especially in this heat. And he didn't reply, which is fine. Like, he, I, I would have liked him to ask me like, how are you? How's New York? But he didn't. But like, it was fine. It was fine. <laughs> Girl who says it's fine 800 times when it's not fine. Um, but yeah, so basically... Um, we didn't really text after that, but I got back from New York on a Saturday and I was like, you know what, let me just text him like, uh, if he wants to grab a drink, um, cause you know, he works full time. I don't know if he can always grab drinks during the week. Um, so I texted him like, Hey, um, I just got home from New York. Like, uh, do you want to grab a drink tonight? And he was like, Oh, I can't tonight, but maybe in a couple weeks when I get back from a business trip. And I was like, this boy, like you made it clear that you wanted to hang out with me. And now you're like totally rejecting me, which, okay, everybody knows a business trip does not last a couple weeks. Um, and if you're not interested, just say, hey, look, I'm sorry. Um, I don't really think a second date is, you know, a good idea, especially from a guy who's 28. I was like, you can just be honest with me. I'm not going to get that heartbroken. Um, so yeah, it was so weird. And my eyes, he'd like changed his mind like completely. Like, it just like in a week, because it was literally had been like a week since our first date. And I was like, what? Like, you just, you were the one who was like, oh, I want to see you again. Oh, I had such a good time. So it was super weird. I really didn't understand why. <laughs> I guess I still don't. And I just replied with like, okay, have fun tonight or something. Um, oh yeah, because he said like, I'm having drinks with friends tonight. So I was like, okay, have fun tonight. And he never replied again and we never talked again. So yeah, so that was, I guess, the um, weirdest part that he like in one week completely changed his mind, the changed his mind guy. And I don't really have any advice for this because I'm just super confused. I guess it's more like how you react. Like obviously I was upset, I was hurt, I liked this guy and I kind of, you know, wish we would have gone on a second date. I think we could have had a real connection, but I'm not gonna be like, oh, you texted me and said you wanted to go on another date. Like, I think sometimes you also just have to accept the way things are and like not everyone's gonna be interested in you and just accept things with stride. So I just said like, yeah, okay, um, and moved on. Although I haven't been in a date on a date in two months, so maybe I haven't really moved on. No, I'm kidding. I've been busy, guys. I've been busy. I can't just date for the vlogs, okay? I have a life too. Um, but yeah, that was the changed his mind guy. If you guys have any advice for me or have any ideas about the situation, let me know in the comments down below. Make sure to subscribe, make sure to like this video, and I'm usually back on Tuesday with a regular video and on Friday with a fellow Friday, so I will see you guys next week. Bye!